leader of the Wilderness Guardians, and welcome to episode two of RuneScape Recipes. In this installment, we'll be looking at Gnome Cocktails. Released on December 11th, 2001, Gnome Cocktails have now become a staple of both versions of RuneScape. Now, these recipes have never been tested before, so in addition to getting the recipes themselves, you'll also be seeing my very first reaction to them, and judging by my face, you'll be able to tell whether you should make them or not. I also make this video with the disclaimer that by the end of it, I'm going to be pretty fucking wasted. So, uh, if you want to make some of these cocktails for yourself, I recommend the ones at the beginning, when I still have the full faculties of my speech and uh, motor skills about me. So, without further ado, let's have a look at our first cocktail. For this fiery cocktail, you'll need vodka, gin, Bacardi 151, Baileys, some blueberries, and some chopped pineapple. Fill a cocktail shaker with ice. Add the vodka and gin, then shake for 10 seconds. Pour the alcohol into a cocktail glass, followed by the blueberries, which I have assumed are related to the dwellberries that the original recipe calls for. If you have grenadine, add a touch to your cocktail. Next, add the Baileys. The in-game recipe asks for cream. Then, a few chunks of pineapple. The recipe also asks for heat to be used, and so we'll be adding a flaming shot of Bacardi 151 to the cocktail. The name of the cocktail, after all, is called the Drunk Dragon. Be careful not to let it burn too long, or else this will happen. Oh. Holy uh -oh, shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We need to blow that one out too. This is, this is why we need... A cloth? Um, yeah. Do you have something to... Ex is this safe to extinguish that? Yeah. Pour the flaming shot into the cocktail and serve immediately. It's so, uh, that didn't go quite according to plan. The layering didn't really work because the alcohol was too thin. Mm. Uh, it looks like the Baileys has not mixed well, but unfortunately the recipe demanded that we use cream. So I think we made the right choice in uh, using Baileys instead of actual cream. So, they are lumpiness. Cheers. <laughs> let's see how it tastes. Cheers. <laughs> not the worst. No, not no, the worst. No, I'm not. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. One star. One star. <laughs> two. 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 <laughs> no, you, you need to try mine. Mine must be worse than yours. Bleh. Someone had that shot and died. <laughs> Yeah. What is it? This is a... Don't have it. Look, it's curdling. <laughs> For a more palatable version of the Drunk Dragon, add to the gin and vodka the fruit and grenadine, then top up with Sprite. Finally, add the flaming Bacardi 151. <laughs> so this revised version is looking a lot nicer. So. What we've done is we've taken the Baileys out completely because that was a tragic mistake and we've added Sprite instead. So, let's see how this one tastes. Cheers! Cheers. Oh, much better. Oh, yeah. Much better. Okay, make this. Yeah. This is nice. That's much better. <laughs> if you've got some sugar syrup, you may add it to this. But if you like your um, cocktails mm. quite dry, then uh, it's fine as is. For this classic gnome cocktail, you'll need some apple juice, orange juice, lemon juice, a slice of lemon as garnish, and if you would like yours alcoholic, some vodka. Simply pour all the ingredients into a cocktail shaker and shake thoroughly. Pour the mixture into a glass. The lemon slice should be as chunky and intrusive as possible to replicate the graphics of the game. Serve immediately. Okay, and it's that simple. Here goes. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, 
Yeah, much better. Much more simple. <laughs> much more simple. Uh, if we were to go wrong with the fruit punch, <laughs> you don't trust anything yeah, we make. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, this one you cannot fail, even if you tried. For this tropical treat, you'll need two parts pineapple juice, one part orange juice, one part lime juice, some pineapple chunks, and if you'd like yours alcoholic, some Cointreau and gin, and orange for garnish. Add some ice to a cocktail shaker, then add the pineapple, orange and lime juice, followed by two shots each of Cointreau and gin. Shake thoroughly. Pour the mixture into a glass with a few pineapple chunks at the bottom and garnished with a slice of orange. Then serve. Okay, here we go. This is the pineapple punch. Cheers. Cheers. It's actually quite similar to the last one, isn't it? <laughs> There's not a huge difference. Yeah, all I yeah. taste is the pineapple and lime. <laughs> Where are the glaciers? At the, the bottom. bottom. Oh. If there was control in this, I can't taste it at all. <laughs> wow, the pineapple just absolutely overpowers it, doesn't it? It obliterates everything. Um, I recommend this one if you like pineapple juice and nothing else. Uh, <laughs> In retrospect, I would have had one part pineapple juice rather than two parts pineapple juice. Mm. This recipe for disaster requires apple juice, orange juice, lemon, some vegetable ashes, vodka, if you wish to make the drink alcoholic, and lemon slices to garnish. Ashes can be made by chopping either carrots or leeks into thin slices, laying them on a tray lined with foil, then placing them in an oven, preheated to 270 degrees Celsius. Bake for 70 to 90 minutes, and then cool for 10 minutes. Then, grind into a powder. If you are asthmatic, have someone else do this for you. Add ice to a cocktail shaker, followed by the apple, orange and lemon juice, followed by half a teaspoon of ashes. Add three shots of vodka, then shake thoroughly. Pour the mix into a cocktail glass and serve right away. Okay, ladies and gents, a dirty blast. What do you think of the smell? I think it's putrid. <laughs> I'm else. not looking forward to this. Uh, <laughs> Cheers. Oh. It's not so bad when you <laughs> taste it. Holy shit, this is alright. Okay, you yeah. just don't um, smell it. That is surprisingly refreshing. Mm, okay. I can I yeah, can deal with that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, no, it, um, it's Take gonna it smell like Satan's anus, <laughs> but uh, it, it, like it tastes as an <laughs> Well, it is from hell. Mm. Uh, but uh, it's perfectly drinkable. So uh, give it a shot. Cheers. Cheers. This gnomish delight calls for some vodka, three limes, some mint leaves, some sugar syrup, and some Midori to enhance both color and flavor. Add ice to a cocktail shaker. Squeeze the limes into the shaker, followed by two shots of vodka, two shots of Midori, and the sugar syrup. Optionally, you could add a dash of Sprite, but don't do what Drunken Lordship did and add it to the shaker because it will lose its fizz. Pour into a cocktail glass with crushed mint leaves and lime garnish, then serve. The mint leaves replace the equa leaves that are asked for in the original RuneScape recipe. And that, ladies and gents, is the short green man. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, it is good. That is quite an easy drink, isn't it? Actually, I was expecting it to be worse because, you know, it's a combination of lime, mint and melon, which you wouldn't expect to work. There's a few grains there. <laughs> I, I think I could finish this. Yeah, I think yeah. Oh, you could always do it with a bit more mint, it's good now. Yeah, I'll give this a three and a half out of five. Mm. A bit yeah. of a uh, twist on a mojito. Mm. Yeah. For the Blurberry Special, you'll need some vodka, some brandy, some gin, mint, one lime, 
two lemons or some lemon juice, and a large orange. In a cocktail shaker filled with ice, add two shots of vodka, two shots of gin, and two shots of brandy. Then squeeze in the orange, followed by the lemon or lemon juice. In a cocktail glass, add some crushed mint leaves, one chunk of lemon, one chunk of orange, and a slice of lime. After shaking, pour the cocktail mix into the glass and serve. And this is the Blurberry Special. Fruity. Cheers. Cheers. Nope. 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 Why? Oh, you don't like that. No. I can't enjoy it. That is... I like my citrus. <laughs> yeah. No. Two stars at best. This creamy cocktail requires Bailey's, Frangelico, which is optional as it deviates from the original recipe, 100 ml of milk, a small melted chocolate bar, and some mint leaves, or equa leaves as the recipe says. Add four shots of Bailey's to an iced cocktail shaker, followed by one shot of Frangelico, then add the milk and chocolate. After shaking, pour the mix into a glass containing crushed mint leaves, then serve. So we discovered that in the mixing of the cocktail, the chocolate actually froze inside the shaker. So I don't recommend using right. melted chocolate. Uh, I would use chocolate powder or cocoa powder or in flank. the future. Or a flank. Mm. Cocoa powder. Use cocoa powder in the future. Do we have cocoa powder? No, but we do. We do? We do. Let's go add some cocoa powder. Just a sec. <laughs> Okay, we've added the cocoa now. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that is so good. That is so good. fucking amazing. That is a four and a half star. Four That's right. Four, 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 four and a half. <laughs> four. Time now to look at some comments from my last video. Hope Fighter Jojomal, I like your attitude, but I think this is a much deeper issue than people think. There are a lot of unhealed wounds, and the two versions of the game are still competing for the same player base, or similar. The tension between the two versions isn't going to go away anytime soon, and is unfortunately the inevitable price we have to pay for having two different versions. It was wrong of me to originally oppose the return of old school RuneScape, but this community divide was one of my reasons why. Leon Paris? The guy you called a redneck is Mod Pi, and I consider him to be one of the best J mods, probably the best J mod that RS3 has right now, so please do give him a chance. If anyone can fix PvP in that game, it's him. He's a really cool guy as well. Wish you could meet him. And Azarek. I think you're onto something here. Your comment got me thinking about Castle Wars and how much it potentially did for PKing in the early years. I wonder if PKing could become more popular if Old School decided to revive Castle Wars as a minigame. I remember a lot of low-level accounts playing that game and having a great time of it. What a great piece of content that was.